In just six days' time, two men of the Sikh faith brutally attacked. In Stanislaus County, Sarjeet Singh Mully says that two men beat him with a stick on July 31st while he was installing political signs outside his house near Keys. There was language that was used, you know, not go back to your country, uh, spray painted on their truck. Povinder Kaur is from the Jakara movement, the leading Sikh youth organization in the country. She says we're seeing more and more of these incidents every day. Six days later, 71-year-old Sahib Singh Nat was walking in Manteca's Greystone Park when two guys wearing hoodies threw him down and brutally assaulted him. One of the men repeatedly kicked Mr. Nat even after the elderly man fell down onto the road. And so it's because they look different. Uh, they're, they're brown, they're people of color. And so we need, as a community, white, black, every color of the rainbow get together and just say we don't tolerate this in our town. The Council on American Islamic Relations said we're not only seeing a major uptick in incidents here, but also around the entire country. Just last month, the state attorney general's office released five reports on criminal justice statistics and hate crimes involving a racial bias between 2016 and 2017 increased 16 percent from 519 to 602. Both civil rights advocacy group leaders point the finger in the same direction. Well, it starts at the top when, when our elected officials are attacking uh, minorities and people of color. Um, we, then we expect hate crimes. I mean, it's, it's a natural result of, of hate speech. In the recent years with the Trump administration, we've seen this going further. You see an outburst of hate crimes, race, racial comments, commentary being made, outright bigotry. Both say it's up to all of us to open up dialogue and create change.